Today we wanted to introduce you guys to Korean wedding culture. We invited designer Jung who specializes in Korean hanboks. Designer Jung takes pride in providing hanboks for the New York City community, whether it be parades, celebrations, weddings. A lot of Korean families just rent the dresses for picture purposes. You know, even if they can't do the traditional Korean wedding, they can just rent these and do the picture. We did that for our wedding as well. Traditionally, the mother of the bride wore pink because it symbolized the resentfulness of sending her daughter away. Blue was worn by the mother-in-law to represent her intimidating and ferocious aura. Mother-in-laws were scary in the olden days. Nowadays, the mothers like to wear a mixture of both colors so they could both look pretty. The Korean traditional wedding is called pebek. This is the traditional wedding attire. Parents will sit here, you know, they're like the head of the house. And husband and wife, we're gonna give them a little bit of alcohol to serve them. And they're gonna give us the good things, good words for the future. The parents of husband's side, we're gonna throw some jujubes and chestnuts. Chestnut means girl and jujube means boy. So when they throw it out and you catch it, that's how many children you're going to have in their gender. So that's what it predicts. A husband and wife will sit here and then they will usually bow. And you stand up and bow one more time. This is the more modern wedding attire. These are the things that you put on your head for the girls. For, on the wedding, very heavy. You can be a Netflix character. Oh, this is the king's hat, guys. <laughs> the highest level general or warrior wore this. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so she's the first in New York, the first designer person who dealing to with the uh, hanbok. She also have a do documentary film in YouTube. You can search hanbok story. <laughs>